Andrew Wilson, who is the CEO of EA, has one thing for sure, and that is consistently at making The Sims trending. Regardless of whether it's good or bad, there's a lot of big changes that are coming soon to The Sims franchise, and specifically The Sims 4. Now, we do know recently they did admit that they were going to be having Sims 4 be many more years to come, so there's a lot to look forward to, and we're going to get into that as well. We're also going to talk about how we're going to have new events, so this seems to be a reoccurring thing, and how The Sims is trying to stay on top with so many other platforms now with that being said my name is sam yen my name is yen i play the sims did you see what i did there and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i will have a q a towards the end on where i've been but we're going to buckle down and talk all about the latest things happening in the sims 4 now recently we did get our latest roadmap which was the you know towards the ending we got all different kinds of stuff that we were not expecting and for the first time we actually got dates with everything Thing that was coming out we got the artist studio kit and the storybook nursery kit which was actually a collab with cc creators we also for the first time got grim reaper event rewards so that's something that i think that they're going to follow through with the rest of you know dlcs that have been coming out because again they did mention this whole rewards program and now they're saying that they're doing one again for december starting on the third we also got finally the life and death expansion pack and we got two kits to top it off with sweet slumber party and the cozy kit now these are creator kits and they're very well done on top of that we got some cool base game updates where we can now pick a cause of death as well as having just more overall things to do in create a sim now my guess is that there are still some things that are going to be done of course because they did mention to be continued and we do have the sims direct keeping their promise with trying to make sure that there are consistent patches where they're updating things now again there are are some rumors going around with SimGuru Ninja returning back to Twitter after that whole fiasco where unfortunately Ravenwood which was with the new life and death EP did not have snow and it was a lot of backlash a lot of simmers had things to say about that they were wondering why it was not cross pack compatible and overall he ended up just getting pretty much slammed for it because again he was the one speaking out about it and he ended up deactivating his twitter and now that he did reactivate it he still has not said anything this has been a consistent thing with a lot of sim gurus where they say something get slammed for it and then they just disappear definitely a common theme within sim gurus and there was a lot of simmers going back and forth on whether they felt that this decision was right or wrong again i do feel like the sim gurus as mentioned in previous videos yes they chose to be sim gurus i also do feel like he was stating something that it was just not just a him decision on this project it was multiple people but since then a lot of simmers have moved over to the blue sky app if you're not familiar with blue sky it's basically a new twitter so i will have all my description and info down below because i'm just getting sick of twitter and these promotions again i'm still going to be on twitter but i'm going to be on both and like sim guru ninja sim guru popcorn magnetic and the rest of the sim gurus have not stated anything again there is the holidays coming up and speaking of the holidays coming up we do have a new event system cozy celebration starting december 3rd so it's coming up very very soon this tuesday and again it seems that the sims is going to be sticking around with these new events and hopefully you know constantly promoting themselves to have players you know grab on and leech on to the sims they want to drag as many players in because the more sim players they drag in and even though it's free to play the more people are going to spend money on packs now there are the sims bundle cozy bundles that ended up coming out and they are on it with you know promoting things for the sims right now we have the my sims bundle we have the new shop the sims there's new arrivals coming in and speaking of new arrivals i think i might cave and get that beanie i don't know it's 27 dollars. i feel like i can get it cheaper on etsy but there's something about that beanie and that freezer mug again there are so many different things coming to the sims that they've already stated like the creator program the sims lab they're talking more about the movie that's still closely coming Coming out again we got a lot of you know information when ea came out with investor day and they spent over eight minutes talking specifically on the sims and what their their journey is for that there's going to be some project journeys where they are going to be expanding more on that the sims 4 has many more years to come including decade i will not be surprised if 
we don't get a, a you know a sims 5 or a 6 until even 2028 but that's my personal opinion would love to know yours and with this new ai system going on there are the the, the thoughts are endless of what they could do there's also the sims lab story town that got leaked and everybody was ended up able to play it and again it just looked like one big cash grab this might actually be not actually i think it will be a flop again a lot of people were like this just looks like something on mobile even though it's you know it could be a little bit more compatible but i just i don't know a lot of people mix this up with project renee and this is definitely not project renee if you look if you take a look at this guys this looks completely different and we got the first look of project renee about over a year and a half ago with behind the sims summit and again this looks completely different from what we saw so again at this point we don't know really what we're going to be getting as of right now they haven't really exactly said what project renee is it's just more like this is some of the stuff that we're working on how do you guys feel about it so again everything is in the air right now of what we could be getting possibly very soon so speaking of you know very soon what are some packs that are going to be coming out for next year again the roadmap did say to be continued so i do think they're still going to be continuing on to that roadmap now the sims did post this the other day and it did look like a concert now i could be reaching here but would it be cool if we got bands or some sort of concert now this is thanks to the sims community.info and i'll list it down below in the description box if you guys want to check this out but there was you know uh basically a survey going on that a lot of people got you know a chance to you know participate in and they were asking all these different questions about what we're interested in what kind of build and buys would we want what kind of creative sims what we want and there's just so many options, you know, clothing, hats, shoes, jewelry. Personally, for me, I don't know about y'all, but I would love to see a whole creative sim dedicated to the men in The Sims 4. I feel like the men masculine, you know, clothing is just non-existent in The Sims 4 right now, especially after their third DLC. They just completely stopped going that route, and I don't know what it is about it, but they just they just stopped. And I, I'm just like, come on, y'all. They are definitely paying attention to a little bit of their competitors, but at the same time, EA is a billion dollar company and they yes they are noticing their competitors but they're also not stressing because again with Enzoi and Paralyze they are life simulators but at the end of the day y'all at the end of the day it will never be the sims the sims is its own thing and I know that for a fact Andrew Wilson is very confident in himself when it comes down to the sims and he's very confident in maxis being able to present what they're going to present now there is a lot of talk right now stating that maybe we should be getting a color wheel sometime soon because a lot of people were wondering what's going to be basically happening for the next year of course with all the recent things that they've said during investor day there are so many endless possibilities and basically how big is the game really going to get again this was just a mock-up of you know from an intern that that was working over in the sims and it did look like they were kind of you know looking at a color wheel possibility and again i would love to see something like that because there are the the, the color limitations in the sims is crazy i feel like with color wheels in build and buy that makes sense it's like a little bit too much but color wheels specifically on create a sim i feel would be such a good idea and definitely will draw in more customers but you guys let me know down below in the comments what is something that you guys would want to see as far as feature wise definitely more detail you know looks with mascaras as well because the mascaras that they recently just came out with during base for base game and just you know our recent ep i feel like it just needs a little bit more detail but i would also be here for literally next year coming in with concerts i think that would be such a good way to start off the year again just to celebrate and you know a new sims 4 you know let's celebrate with a concert i feel like that would be such a good idea i'm craving bands so bad but you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys feel about all of this you know recently as far as what we could expect for investor day that was recently talked about and of course the cozy bundle pack with this, my sims again i maybe i'll play that i do have a nintendo switch maybe that'll just be a cozy game for me where do you guys think the sims direct is headed and are you proud of the sims direct and do you think they're keeping their word are you getting anything from shop the sims and also are you guys into the cozy events that are happening again they are just consistently doing this so i feel like it's going to be here for the long haul but with all that being said definitely want to talk about the elephant in the room because i have been away for two weeks and even on other socials i just haven't been as consistent again i had a baby a couple months ago and so i'm still trying to get into the swing of those things as well as you know having a, you know my a life of my own as well with youtube so again i am trying to um 
you know, make this all work, basically. So I want to say thank you to those who have been patient enough to wait for me to come back on YouTube. But guys, I have a couple videos coming out. And I know I say that all the time, but I really do have videos stocked up for you guys that are already edited and ready to post for y'all because I, you know, am having fun with The Sims outside of recording. But I did want to get back on YouTube and start recording with, you know, for you guys. And I love talking all things Sims with y'all. And I love the community that we've built here um, for, you know, the past two years. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Again, we are on the road to 40k which is in freaking sane and whether you're a silent viewer you comment my videos or you like my videos at the end of the day you still showed me some love and for that i thank you i will see you guys all in the next video bye